the Canadian Hearing Society just won't listen to its workers. Those workers are walking the line right now after going four years without a contract. Apparently, negotiating with the Canadian Hearing Society is like talking to a wall. So CHS workers hit the bricks because they need to feed their own families while making the hearing world accessible to the deaf and vice versa. But high-flying CHS CEO Julia Dumanian doesn't see things that way. Not surprising, really. A Freedom of Information request brought to light Domanian's rather lavish expenses while she was CEO of Cambridge Memorial Hospital. Her expenses included a leased Mercedes, a country club membership, $1,000 meals, and lots of limos. During her four years at the helm of a public hospital, her salary shot up 40% from $240,000 to $338,000 a year. Debt-ridden Cambridge Memorial Hospital then fired Dumanian and paid her severance that included $535,000 in salary and $115,000 in benefits. Cha-ching! Must be nice to be CEO, eh? But the workers at the Canadian Hearing Society seem to be the children of a lesser god. The last four years meant 0% raise in each year. Actually, if you factor for inflation, they got a pay cut of about 10% over four years. And apparently, Julia didn't change her ways much since getting canned in Cambridge. After taking the helm at the Canadian Hearing Society, she spent thousands having a common rest area renovated as her executive bathroom. Ain't it hypocritical that a non-profit partially funded by philanthropic donations is so inequitable to their own employees, many of whom are deaf? It would seem Julia Dumanian loves the deaf at posh fundraisers, but doesn't like them much on payday. At least not their payday. So charity does not begin at home at the CHS. But maybe one day a deaf person will actually run the organization that works on their behalf. And that'll be the day the deaf will be heard. In Toronto, for Apple TV, I'm Umberto da Silva, not Rex Murphy. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do.